got a show for y'all today. Back to back, y'all had one yesterday. Make sure y'all share. up y'all what is up good evening everybody what time is it it's 9 19 so it's still early some people are still awake uh except for the people gotta get up at four or five in the morning the truth key to his life guys the book is out the book right now is at amazon and it is selling and selling guys it's doing really well appreciate everyone now all i need you to do is go leave me some reviews leave me some reviews on amazon we're like the sec second best uh seller right now on amazon you go over there and it's bam right there um, and it's doing amazing. It's doing amazing. I, I think it's doing so well because the truth, the truth is in there. I'm not holding nothing back. The truth is in the book. So I wanted to go back when this journey first begun for me. Right. And I probably do a show on this on Saturday also, because I, I do a show on, uh, Mondays. No, there'll be a Wednesday. So I do a show Mondays, Wednesdays, and I do a show on Saturdays. But uh, I did a show yesterday because I didn't do the show on Saturday because I was DJing. So I want to show y'all where it began for me, right? So right here, I have a poncho that I wear, that I was wearing three and a half years ago when I first started my journey. So it's huge. You can't see me in it. It's huge. But this, this right here used to fit me, fit it. It used to fit me, fit it. Go back and look at the pictures. Actually, the picture, the picture is on my cookbook. And that's why the cookbook is awesome because you'll be able to see my story. You'll be able to see where I came from. One second. Um, and you'll be able to see it and everything, you know? But, um, hold on, let me turn it. All right. So... This right here was me three and a half years ago, guys. Three and a half years ago. This was me three and a half years ago. And I'm fixing to show y'all. So if you think my cookbook will not work for you, you have it all wrong. Because it'll work for you. And it'll keep on working for you after and after because it teaches you. Right? But you got to want this. You have to want this. These recipes are so good. Because I made sure they were going to be delicious. Because, you know, when the first time I was trying people's keto food and it tasted bland, it tasted nasty. I'm like, I remember one time I ate something and I could taste nothing but olive oil. And I'm like, man, this is so nasty. Nothing but olive oil. I taste nothing but olive oil. Like it lets you, hey, you know what? You are on keto. You're tasting this, right? And that ain't the way it should be. So my recipes, my, I'm actually, shout out to my nephew. My nephew just made his first recipe. And I tell people, if you're buying my book, and you make your first recipe, make sure you tag me, right? And it makes you go leave me an awesome review at Amazon. An honest review, right? That's what I'm looking for. Oh, you can't hear me? Oh, it's because I had to. Can you hear me now? Donnie, can you hear me? Can y'all hear me out there? Okay. No, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk on the mic. I'm sure they can hear me now. Hold on. It's because I, I, was, I was showing them. I had the mic down. They can hear me now. So... Size 40, uh, 48, now it's 36. So are so you're size 48 and now you're 36? Is that what you're telling me? Is that That's awesome, Rose. That's the case. That's really awesome. Hey, shout out to Rosalinda. Shout out to Donnie. What's up, bro? Family in the house, huh? Oh, okay, I'm good. Yeah, I had the mic. I had my mic up here and I was just showing people. And I'm going to get up right now. I'm going to show the people. Um, This was me back then. You know, this was me back then. And, man, I came a long ways and, and I continue doing what I have to to do
Is that the house alarm? That was the house alarm? Probably because I turned it on when I when you left. I probably hey what's up Arturo? Shout out to Arturo. Yeah, I think we said we probably said it earlier. Really? I'm sure. Appreciate that, Donnie. Appreciate that, bro. So before we go any further, I'm gonna tell you what I used to wear. And I'm gonna show you how big it, it was. Excuse me, I know y'all can't probably hear me talk, but I'm gonna just tell you where it was at. Okay, so let me put a seat back right here. So this is how big I used to be. This is how big I used to be. This is me now. But this was me three and a half years ago. I was a huge guy. And you can see this, you can see this in the book. This right here should tell you that this book is going to help you. Back. This right here should tell you that the book works and it's going to help you. People knew, some people that knew me <laughs> didn't see I was a big guy, but I was always, always a big guy. I lost 98 pounds. I lost half of me, you know. Today, today I, I weighed in at 196, right? feel amazing guys i feel i don't stop feeling amazing i feel good i i feel good dun, 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 dun. i knew that i would you know because i work hard man i work really hard uh give me a second let me go ahead and put this over here because my my phone's gonna die out over here shout out to tiktok man appreciate tiktok always showing love thank y'all so much so we got some people on here shout out to tiktok Guys, if you want to find me on TikTok, find me under Keto Coach. Keto Coach, guys. I'm the only coach on there except Coach E. So he's Coach E, and I'm Keto Coach. So we're both coaches, guys, and he's awesome. He's really awesome. So uh, shout out to Angel. What's up, bro? Shout out to Angel. So I think Angel's coming in from uh, – Angel, where are you coming in from, bro? I know he, I know you're out of town, but where, where are you coming from? Put in where you're coming in from. Hey, guys, wherever you all coming in from, put where you all coming in from. If you all in Houston, put where you all coming in from. Put the side of town you are coming in from. It helps my ratings, guys. It, it just it really does. It gives me more time on here. And, you know, it's just really good, guys. So it shows my re interacting and stuff like that with y'all guys. So make sure y'all put on there for me. Um, the thing is, man, I have changed. I have changed. And it didn't happen overnight. Right. At one time, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know what to do. I just knew that I couldn't eat this. I knew that I couldn't drink this you know i was too busy always drinking soda after soda after soda and man i was killing myself you know and um what it's it show it's look at if you got the book if you got the book you could see you could see me wearing this poncho if you got the book you could see me wearing this big giant poncho if you got the book now, I love the Texans. So I use it as a blanket. I got to I got to use it as a blanket now, you know, lean to the side, use, use it as a blanket. Grand Prairie. What's up? Appreciate you. Um, Yeah. So when I talk to people, when I coach people and when I push people, when I tell people, man, you know what? I can help you. It's because I can because I've been there, man. I've been there. People don't realize you know, the struggles that people go through and they continue struggling until they do something about it. You have to do something for yourself. You know, I can coach you. I can push you. I can call you. But until you want it, until you really want this lifestyle, then you're going to receive it. You know, today I had somebody um, I, I was I was um, one of the girls was telling me, hey, free, I got your book. And she was really happy. And then somebody put a comment, you should do the the noom, loom, loom, noom, whatever it is, right? So I know about that one. That one, you have to take certain products, whatever. It's just, it's not like keto, right? But the reason why people sometimes don't talk good about keto or can't do keto, 
because it's hard. Because they rather keep on eating all that sugar and they rather do what this they they people want it easy. And the keto lifestyle is not easy, but it will get easier. It will get easier. I promise you will. And then how more easy do you want it? Where you got the blueprint, you got the cookbook right there. The cookbooks at Amazon right there. This will be one of your best. That's what I'm saying. One of your best purchase that you make at Amazon this year. This book right here. I don't say it because I'm the author or I made it. Me and my wife made it. I don't say it for that reason. I say it because I know what went through it. Tears, sweat, struggle, sacrifices, determination, whatever you could think of, it went to it went inside that book. Now, I can talk about this all day, every day, but I don't have a book to show y'all because I still haven't received my book. Everybody received their book, but I haven't received my book. Now, I called Amazon and I'm a prime member, right? So I finally ordered another book. So now I got four coming in, right? And uh, I'm probably going to raffle one out. Um, but the thing is, people sometimes will tell you, like I have people all the time say, you know what? Uh, keto lifestyle, it's not for a long term. It's not for a long term. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Because the keto lifestyle has been going on for many of years, many and many of years. You know, I was born in 71, guys. Believe it or not, I was born 71. So it's 930. So in a few hours, I'll be 50. The big five. Oh, 50. I've never felt good about being 50. Actually, every time I would celebrate a birthday, I was depressed. I was sad. I didn't. I mean, my wife can tell you I was not in a good mood. Never was in a good mood. Right. And um, this year I'm in a good mood and I'm ready to celebrate and I'm happy where I'm at. I, I'm happy how I feel, how I feel inside, outside, how I look. I know I don't look 50. I know I don't. You know, I don't feel it either. You know, and, and that's like the hey Sandra, how you doing? And that's like the best thing. That's the best thing, you know. So, man, I tell you right now. That if you want me to coach you and you see, I. Hey, appreciate that, Tina. Appreciate that. And I'll, I don't, I'll be giving you a call, Tina. I'll be giving you a call. And I'm glad you're watching me. I'm glad you're watching me. Um. So, man, also, I got Tina on the phone. If you need some insurance, easy insurance. She got all three of my rides. Four, three, four. She has a lot of my rides covered, right, with insurance. Um, she's really awesome. She also does the moonwalk. So remember, easy insurance. All right. So the thing is, guys, today we're talking about the truth keto is life. If I would have never done keto, if I would have never studied, if I would have never became a coach, then I wouldn't be in this position I'm in now. I have helped so many people from my story. This cookbook could have been out a long time ago, but I couldn't put it down. I couldn't. Put, my wife would tell me, babe, that's it. We have a cutting time. Cut it. That's it. But I said, no, babe, I got to let them know about this. I have to let them know about that. And I kept on. And anything you could think of that happened on this cookbook happened. I tried to go out with some some professional outs because I'm a, I'm a graphic artist, right? But I, tr I never wrote a book. I did a magazine, but I never did a book. So I tried to go out with some professional help. And that did not work out. Right? So I told my wife, I said, you know what? I, I can do it. She said, baby, I know you can do it. Let's go. So we did it. So that book right there is simply amazing. The food is not boring. The food is delicious. I mean delicious. You know, when I knew that I wanted to, because I, I was buying stuff out there. I was buying stuff. People were saying keto. I remember somebody sold me a cake one time, right? And I bought this cake, and I was like, it's okay. It's, re it's really sweet. It's, I'm trying to get away from sugar. It's really sweet. Because they overdid it inside the, I guess they overdid it in the sweetener. They overdid it with the sweetener. 
Order from my bakery and see how good my, my treats are. Order from them. I challenge you to order from my bakery. Sugar is the devil.net right there. Sugar is the devil.net. And you tell me if something doesn't taste good to you because I'll let you have it and I'll buy it back from you. You know, I'll give you money right back. Everything that I made that I set out to make. And I, and I, don't, I don't know another word for it, but it's amazing. I promise you, because. There was so much trial and error. I would I would make something and I would taste it. I'm like, oh, man, this is good. How many net carbs it got? Oh, no, that still got too many net carbs. I need to bring the net carbs down. And I said, my wife would say, how low do you want the net carbs? And I said, I want to at least have them at three, three net carbs, two net carbs per each. Right. Because I'm thinking of how a person's going to count. You see, the reason why I made my bakery, because people that I was coaching that were cheating, they would cheat. Oh, free. I cheated, man. I had to have a candy bar or I cheated. I had to have a donut. So I said, you know what? You, you don't have to cheat. I'm not saying they don't cheat no more, but it's here. It's here. Look at everything I've done. And I'm not trying to brag about myself. I'm just telling you that I'm here for y'all guys. And I'm trying to tell you everything I've done. Bringing out a book for whoever wrote a book or did a book, they know it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. It was hard. It was hard work. But God was next to me. And I knew that he wasn't going to let me down. But I wasn't going to let him down either. Sometimes we want to do something and we want to do something, but we want him to do everything. We want him to think of what we're thinking about and we want him to do everything. And maybe he wants to do something, but he wants you to do it for yourself, too. You know, we have to do it. We have to do it. Sometimes we're we're falling to our knees and we're praying, please, God, please, please. When you should be thanking him weeks before then, weeks before you're praying to him, thank him. I don't I don't I thank him more than I pray to him. And he listens. He listens, you know. He listens. He he doesn't stop listening. He listens, man. He listens. He listens. You know, age hey, out to Donna. I um, I, I'm so happy, guys. I am so happy. My book. A- at first, I was like, man, I need to get this book out. Hey, shout out to my wife. There goes the other author right there. Shout out to my wife. What are these horrible people? You know what? Um, no gallbladder. I don't have no gallbladder. I really don't have one. And that ain't no problem. If you there's no difference. If you if you want to if you want to do this, then that's exactly what we do, Angel. That's exactly what we do. And that's a good question right there. That's a good question. Honestly, before we get any further, I'm gonna have to play this real quick because I don't want to get sued. Here we go. Attention, my advice is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any health problems. I am not a doctor. I just show you what worked for me. Okay. Y'all know I'm not a doctor, right? But a doctor will never, ever, ever take care of the disease. If you're diabetic and you're seeing your doctor, you become worse. After a while, you can't see. I know these things because I got people that I'm coaching right now that are almost blind from one eye. I got I got a person I'm coaching that they see blurry because they have too much sugar. And that's them listening to their doctors. Now, I can't tell you to not to do what the doctor tells you. I can't tell you that because I get in trouble for it. But what I can tell you is that doctors never never got me from this doctors never got me to make a book doctors never got me to become a keto coach doctors never got me to get my youtube channel keto is live tv my bakery doctors never did any of that for me what a doctor did for me is take care of symptoms every time i went over there free was sick we send free home, free come back and see us. Free was sick, we send home, free comes back and sees us. Right? Because a doctor never said, the problems is sugar. 
No, the doctor tells you, you know what, if you got high blood pressure, if you got this, that, all you have to do is exercise and eat right. Exercise and eat right. Well, let's figure what that is, right? So you want me to eat wheat bread. You want me to eat brown rice and white rice, right? And you want me to eat whole foods, right? Which is not good for you. You want me to eat whole wheat. You want me to eat all this, right? But you're not taking care of the problem. You're not telling me free. Do not eat this because this has hidden sugars in it. Now, I don't know about y'all, but wheat bread, wheat bread is not good. That's not a good choice. Right. But you, you're you used to people telling you, hey, no, no te comes de pan. But if you eat some wheat bread, then you're going to be good because it's healthy. But it's not. It's not. You actually got wheat bread that's worse than white bread, believe it or not. You know, and you get these people all the time. I get these people in there. They think they know everything. You know, they know everything. Apparently, they don't know. Because they'll come and tell me, oh, you know what? I heard you could have this. You could have this on keto. No, you can't. Oh, I heard that you could cheat. You could have a cheat day on keto. And this is their excuse. If you have a cheat day, you reverse your body and then you start dropping more weight. That's a lie. That's capping. Because the thing is, and then the other one is, if you take this packet and you take it, it's going to put you on ketosis like this, and you don't even have to do ketosis, right? That's a lie, right? So, hey, Mary Lou, hey, how you doing, sister Law? Appreciate you picking up the book. Um, I would just go, I would just let them know where I used to be and where I'm not at no more. I was letting them know. This is in the book, guys. This is in the book, my before and after. But doctors will never, ever take care of the disease. If you have high blood pressure, they give you small little pills. And you continue having high blood pressure. Nothing ever changes. And you continue having high blood pressure. And if you don't watch it, you'll get up with headaches you have, and, and I know about this because I had this. Everything I talk about, I had. You know, when people say, man, you know what, depression and all this, all that sets in, all that is sugar. Everything sugar. When people's bodies infla- inf- uh, got inflammation, that's sugar. When they got fatty liver, that's sugar. Depression, sugar. Anxiety, sugar. You know, whatever it is, it's sugar. When their mind is not got, don't have the clarity that they need to have, that's all sugar. When they get in dizzy, that's sugar. So everything plays a part and it's sugar. Right? Well, the truth, keto is life. My title means exactly this. So in my book, I'm telling you the truth of how I dropped 98 pounds. I'm telling you the truth about keto and i'm telling you the truth how it changed my life now that's where the title that's where the title's going that's exactly where the title's going when we were doing my book i was like man you know what i'm gonna name it sugar is the devil because that's what it is sugar is the devil right and we went back and forth back and forth and said you know what no the truth keto is life so if you want to find my book at Amazon, all you have to do is put the truth, keto is life. And I'm number two. It'll pull out number two. But guys, when I come on here and I talk to y'all about things, it's because I have been there. I have been there. You know, I, I don't, um, I've been there. You know, I don't plan to ever be there again, ever. Because I know what it takes to get me there. And so I don't want to be there. I don't have to be there. I already finished eating. I'm, I'm, I'm old mad, so I eat once a day. One time a day. That's all I eat, one time a day. And you have people say, oh, you got to eat six times a day. You got to eat seven times a day to drop weight. You got to eat this. So what makes more sense? Eat less, drop weight, or eat more and drop weight? Hey, eat less and drop weight. Right. So I eat one time and then people say, oh, you know what? You can't get no muscle and you can't get this and you can't get that. What? That's a lie. That's that's a lie. There's so many fibs with people talking about keto. You have a lot of people that have their own idea about keto 
and they make their own ideas. They they want to say, oh, you can't do keto. You could do cheating keto. You could do sometimes keto. You know, you could do dirty keto. You know, for a while, dirty keto. I didn't know what that was. Like, man, what? You're not taking a bath or what? You know? But regardless of what it is, it's all keto. It's all the ketogenic lifestyle. Now, you will never hear me say diet <clears throat> because it's not a diet. It's an amazing lifestyle. In my book, I say diet one time in my whole book, one time. And that's where you see it. Um, did I even put it on there? I'm sure I put it on there. What? Yeah, it's in the book. It's one time on the book and it says the keto lifestyle. That, that way it says, uh, how does it, how does it go, babe? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. I got so many things in my head. Um, it's an amazing lifestyle, not a diet. That's what that's what my thing is. It's an amazing lifestyle, not a diet. You know, diets is where you take pills, where you take shakes, where they send you certain foods you have to eat. Um, you know, stuff like that. This ain't a diet. Today I made my chili. I made my chili, man. Guys, I can't wait till y'all make your own chili for my book. So delicious. So, and and then there's there's ingredients in there. You're going to be like, what? He puts this in his chili? Oh, my God. But you're going to be like, oh, it is delicious. It's delicious. Right, babe? <laughs> what, babe? It's in the introduction. Huh? Huh? It's in the introduction. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know, I know. I thought we put it in the front of the book. We didn't put it in the front of the book. We put it in the intro introduction. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Because we were we were switching the book off so many times, so that's why. <laughs> What's up, pops? How you doing? <clears throat> so shout out to everybody on TikTok, man. Thank y'all so much. Um, it's hard to see the names on here, but thank y'all so much for joining me. Really appreciate y'all, and everybody on Facebook appreciate y'all. So guys, there's a lot of things you get from my book. If um if you haven't got the COVID, thank God you haven't got it. But I, I feel that everyone's going to get it. On one of my pages, I'm showing you how to build your immune system, how to make your immune system bulletproof. And I know those words sound strong, but I guarantee you that's what it's going to do. So when it hits you, you won't feel it like other people feel it. You see, the thing about the the the, the COVID-19, <laughs> COVID-19, not the COVID-19, COVID-19, is it's an immune system problem. It's an immune system virus. So whatever is wrong with the person, it's attacking that. I have lost people from it. I, I just lost a really good friend of mine from many years ago, many years ago. I met him in Jacinto City. You know, Juan. He was in his 30s, late 30s. He just passed. I was helping him with his keto lifestyle. And then he stopped doing it. And that's what happens sometimes. People stop doing it. Because people, it gets too hard for them. It gets really hard for them. So they want to find something else. They find comfort in something else. Now, I'm not telling you that people don't get the COVID if they're healthy. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you got a better chance to fight it. You got a, a way better chance to fight it, you know. So if you have not picked up my book, pick up my book. I. I this book. Will change your life when I say it will change your life, because that's exactly what I mean. Just my story, just my story about me, of how far I've gotten and what I've done to change to put me in the position I'm in right now, that by itself should motivate you and should tell you, you know what? Why cannot, why, why can't it not be me? Why can't I do it? Why can I do it? Why can I not change? You know why you cannot change? And I'm just talking in general. Because you choose not to. If you want this lifestyle, you have to work hard. You have to be dedicated, motivated. You got to push yourself. 
You got to do whatever it takes. I'm not telling you you got to go buy supplements or you got to take these pills or you got to take that. Matter of fact, the keto lifestyles is trying to get you off of the pills you're taking. So if you're taking something for high blood pressure, guess what? The keto lifestyle is going to take you off of that. If you're taking something for diabetes, guess what? I'm going to help you beat diabetes. That's what the keto lifestyle does. It does all this. People still have anxiety. They still have depression. And they wonder where it's coming from. Well, I'll tell you where it's coming from. It's coming from every time you open a soda water. Every time you open a cold Coke. And it's real crispy and you drink it. And then you're not happy with just that one, so you drink another one. And it comes from when you're trying to eat them cereal, big old bowl of Frosted Flakes. And you're adding bananas and and milk and all kinds of stuff. It comes from that. And then it comes from you trying to eat all this pasta and all this food. You know, somebody you're celebrating. We always celebrate with food and everything. That's where depression comes from. It comes from sugar. Inflammation, sugar. You know, when I used to be big, I remember, man, my legs used to hurt and my stomach hurt all the time. You know, I, I didn't want to I didn't even want to poop, man, because I hated it. Because when I used the restroom, I felt like they were stabbing me. When I got done, I felt like they were stabbing me. And during I felt like they were stabbing me. I hated to poop because I did not know what kind of pain I was going to be in. When I got up in the morning, I did not want to get up. I didn't want I didn't want to get up because I was afraid to get that headache that I got every morning. And then I go get my metformin pills. Uh, are those the ones you take? I don't know. They're not called metformin. The ones you take for high blood pressure, the little pink ones. If y'all know the name of them, let me know. Um, I can't think of the name of them but because they're not important. But I used to take those, and then I was dizzy. And then they would give me the runs. It was awful. I never had a chance. And then i take some other medicine, and I would get asthma attacks. It would trigger my asthma. I'm, here I am asleep like this. And, and I had the radio turned up all the time. You know, if y'all know me, I had to sleep with the radio on. And you know where that came from? From me wheezing. From me wheezing because I had to turn the, the radio on so I won't hear myself wheeze. You know? And so I did this book to help people. That's the biggest reason why I did this book. Because I would see books out there and I I see a book and I'll, I'll, I'll look at it and I'm like, babe, the author never been fat. The author never had health problems. The author, well, you don't look at the author. She, you see, how am I going to read a book from somebody that's never been there? How am I going to read something that don't know the struggle? How am I going to read something that never been called any names like fat boy, fat ass, and all these other names they used to call me? How am I going to read a book like that? You see, and that's the difference between my book and other books. My book is exactly the truth. It's exactly. There's no difference. There is no difference from me and you. Right now, and I'm talking, again, I'm talking in general. Right now, there's people out there that think they can't do this, that want change, that are probably going, that probably can't even walk, that want change. They want different. They want to do something. They're trying to find a way out. And they don't know what to do. Well, that book right there is going to help them. And... I'm here. I've always been here. I, I don't. I answer my phone. Angel could tell you I answer my phone. Other people that call me, I answer my phone. When I give my number out, my number goes around the world. I give my number out on TikTok all the time. 832-715-2557. Do they ever call me? Hardly ever. Because sometimes people don't think that person that's giving their number out is being real. I don't do this for clout. I don't do this to become famous. I do this to change people's lives. And I'm already famous. And you know why I'm famous? Because Jesus changed my life. 
And that makes me famous. When I dropped all this weight and when I had my health, it was never about how big I looked. It was always about my health, how many problems I had. Even on my skin, I used to have these skin tags and all kinds of stuff. I hated it. Get stains on my face, man, where's this coming from? Right? And it was terrible. Fatty liver, I had everything you can think of. I won the lotto because this is bigger than the lotto. Believe it or not, right now there's people that if they want millions and millions of dollars right now, but they have bad health, how long is that million, million dollars going to last? You can do whatever you can do, whatever you want. But if, until you learn how to eat, until you learn that sugar is the devil and you shouldn't take it. That's when you're going to enjoy it. You see? So, hey, shout out to Martha. So that's why, that's why that book right there is amazing. And it's selling. It's selling every day it sells. Every day it sells. But my biggest thing that I want to take from all this, I want to make sure that people's lives are going to change. That my purpose for making the book will be filled. I get joy from seeing people having better health. From hearing people's story that I'm helping. Oh man, just from just Joe from the Valley. I'm helping Joe from the Valley. His, his diabetes numbers already went down. So the first day I talked to Joe, I think he was at 200 and something. And then he went to 135. And then he went to uh, 120, if I'm mistaken. And the other day, he told me he was at 116. 116. This is in the morning. Right? Guys, deleting sugar out your life and doing the keto lifestyle, it works. And it never stops working. Never stops working. The only thing that stops working is you. If you want change, you have to become the change. You have to do, you have to do the hardest things. The hardest things you thought you couldn't do. Do them. Give yourself a chance. Take care of yourself. What's up, guys? Hey, man, I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all enjoying this, man. We're at 30. We're gonna, I'm going to give y'all two more minutes, and I'm going to jump off. Two more minutes, and I'm jumping off. And I appreciate y'all. And I appreciate everybody that went to get the book. Thank y'all so much. A lot of people are being real supportive. Um, I just want to make sure you're buying the book for the right reasons. That's all I want. I If, if I'm not going to change your life, then maybe I'll change somebody in your life, your family's life. You know, but I know I, I had somebody hit me up and say, hey, man, you know what? I'm going to pick up your book and I, I'm not too big about K. I'm not too big on keto, but I'm going to pick up your book. Now, the good thing about it is that you still can enjoy delicious food, even if you're doing keto or you're not doing keto. You still can enjoy it. You're going to find yourself in my book saying, oh, man, look, babe, we could eat this. With no sugar. And it's going to taste this good? Man, let's make that. Or you're going to see, oh, so that's what he uses. Oh, my God, that's genius. Okay, we're going to, okay, let's make that. Oh, you know what? We got to make this. That's that's how you're going to book. Hey, what's up? Shout out to Javier. That's how you're going to be on the book. Promise. God put me, this was, my, this was a calling, guys. And three and a half years ago, I did not know God was going to put me at this position. If you would have told me three and a half years ago, free, you're going to help me. You're going to be helping a lot of people. You could say almost around the world because I'm helping a lot of people everywhere. And I would have never known that. I would, I said, who, me? Me that drinks two liters soda wise, walks around eating this and the, eating a big old bowl of menudo cereals? And me? Really? But I didn't know I was selfish. I was all about myself. I was not happy. I was not happy. I was I was in my own little world because I was trying to find some kind of happiness. So I wouldn't lose it. You know. And now it's different. This is my calling. So 
the way the book came upon, very, very weird. I felt that I wasn't doing enough. I felt, babe, people have to hear my story. They have to hear my story. They, I want them to hear my story around the world. They have to see where I came from. Because we can show pictures all day. We can show pictures all day and we can we can say this is me. And then you can say, no, that's not him. You know, people 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 are gonna be on the book and be like, oh, there's no way that's him. That's not him. That's his probably his brother or something like that. No, it's me. It's me. And my wife, my wife, another thing, you'll be able to. I'm trying to get this camera going. You'll be able to. Oh, this is the picture. <laughs> you'll be able to. Not just help you, you'll be able to help your spouse. You know, my wife's always been beautiful to me, but I fell in love with her again because of her confidence when she dropped all the weight. My wife went from a size 16 to 18 to a 9 and a 10. And she dropped a lot of weight, and I dropped a lot of weight. I left a 3X, I think I had a 3X, and I left a 3X, and I left size 42 and 44. To size 34. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You could be the witness. Yeah. Because. Tina remembers how big I was. She remembers everything. Tina remembers. Yes. You know. A lot of people can witness this. You know. Yeah. She is beautiful. She is beautiful. But. She was a big girl. You know. And she's. She's. She's different now. You know. It's just her confidence level. I never. I would never want. I never. Asked to change my wife. My wife started changing a month and a half or a month later, and we started doing it together. But she was always trying to tell me, babe, you're drinking too many soda waters. Babe, do you want that? It's real late. Why are you eating that? You know? But now every day we live the keto lifestyle. Every day she fast and I fast. You know? Oh, my bad. <laughs> you mean you mean a thick girl? <laughs> hey for y'all to know who my wife is that's my wife right there lydia lydia mighty sell that's my wife um uh, tiktok tiktok seen you one time i think tiktok seen you one time on um <laughs> tiktok seen you one time but um yeah guys man you know what you could you could change your life guys i appreciate y'all so much man i'm i'm gonna play something for y'all real quick <clears throat> it's called the mirror right so I'm doing the motivational speaking now, uh, speeches, and you'll be able to pick this up on iTunes and uh, Spotify soon. I just ain't had time to put it in there, but here we go. So check it out. It's called, it's called The Mirror. Here we go. Hi, this is Gilbert Patino, and today I want to talk to y'all about The Mirror. So I want to know how many of y'all looked at The Mirror this morning? And when you looked in The Mirror, did you see someone you wanted to see? Or did you see someone that you did not want to see? Honestly, a lot of us accept what we see in the mirror every day. Even if we don't want to be that person, we accept it and then we move on. But are you really happy after you move on? Well, the truth is you're not happy because we stress, because of our health, because of our weight, because of our finances, because of the way we're living, because of what we work at, you're the only one that can change who you see in the mirror. And then there's the ones that don't want to look in the mirror, that pass up the mirror and don't see the mirror. They walk out their house every day and not look at the mirror. I get it. Me, myself, I did not want to look in the mirror. I had no reason to look in the mirror. And if I looked in the mirror, I pretend to see who I wanted to see. I, I pretend, pretend to be who I wanted to be. be. I had health problems. I had finance problems. I had a lot of things that were wrong with me. I didn't believe in myself. A lot of people never knew because I never showed them. Hey, but today I feel amazing. I think amazing and I am amazing. And we serve an amazing God and we forget. We forget we're not doing this by ourselves. We do this with him. So look in the mirror and change, and change to who you want to be. It's time to dominate with life before life dominates on you. Take action. If you're struggling, it's cause you choose to keep yourself there. 
Believe in you. Build your confidence up. Live for something. Stop being negative. Show people what you were made of. Come in terms of who you are and see the truth for what it is and then change to who you truly want to be. Do not look down on yourself. Look up. So look into the mirror and say out loud, I am going to change. I am going to become unstoppable. We will have an amazing health. We would have amazing wealth. We will once again truly love ourselves and love our mirror. Hey guys, appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. Hope y'all enjoyed the show, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the show. Hope I, I had some new people on here. Thank y'all. Make sure y'all put one if it's your first time on my show. Uh, put two if you watch my show. We're gonna do we're gonna do a watch party right after this. We're gonna do a watch party, guys. Thank y'all so much. Really appreciate y'all. Go pick up the book right now if y'all not ordering as we were talking. Like man, free. Need me to order the book. The truth keto is life. Pick it up right now at Amazon. Thank you guys. Take care of yourself. Until the next time. Bye bye. Sugar is the devil Keto is life TV